Minecraft is a true sandbox game that allows users to unleash their creativity and build their own 3D world. It is also considered as a first-person survival game. Don't be fooled by these funny-looking 8-bit graphics. This game can teach students a lot of different skills. Students can play either single-player or in multiplayer environments to collaborate and work together. Users have to collect materials to build with by harvesting trees for wood, digging for iron, coal, and other resources, as well as making crops to harvest. But beware of the skeletons and creepers that come out at night. Don't worry, there's a feature to turn those off if you want. I would put this under Genre 5, Practice Wear, according to Aldrich's description of it being a 3D simulation type game that can lend itself to real world skills. According to Aldrich, games should be used when students need to be more engaged. For instance, when they are not expressing interest in the content, using the interactive content of a game can attract and engage them to the subject matter you're trying to teach. Let's say that you're trying to teach your students about how the pioneers that came to America had to begin building it using the available resources of the land in order to get them interested in the subject matter. Or the great architecture of the world by trying to build the Egyptian pyramids, the Pantheon, Atlas, or Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water. You can have students collaborate and work together to create an entire society where they have to plan out whose job it will be to gather the needed resources, who will be the builder, the planner, etc. This forces them to use higher order thinking skills. I agree with Guy that video games do have the potential to lead to active and critical learning as well, as having a greater potential than much of the learning in current school systems. I feel as if Minecraft is one of these games. Many of Guy's 36 principles struck home with me in our reading, but none seemed more appropriate to using Minecraft in education than his design, discover, and transfer principles. Don't have your students simply just read and memorize facts from a book. Let them actually explore and experience them firsthand in the world of Minecraft and watch their creativity soar.